All right, testing, testing, testing. Uh, music. All right. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Actually, let me turn that up just a little bit more. Okay, should be a little better now. Um, where's the game? Okay. All right, what's up, guys? So it's gonna be GAC round three today. Uh, technically, it's not even time yet. Like, you can't even attack yet. Uh, but I wanted to stream early. It's a Sunday. Right. Wait, is today Sunday actually? It should be. Okay, yeah. Um, so as you see here, there's still 22 minutes before that. Uh, but real quick, I think I'm going to try to climb some arena right now. Uh, so that I don't have to do that later. Uh, plus, you know, with the 22 minutes, we can, we can do whatever. Um, that looks okay. So we could just go straight into it. Uh, part of the reason why I'm streaming early today is because uh, there's a Chicago Bulls game I'm trying to catch later. <laughs> it starts at 7, so we do have like a lot of time. So I'm not in that big of a hurry. Uh, but you know, it's I, I thought, I figured, you know, why not start streaming now? So here we are. How we do on the music? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Oops. Hold on a second. Let me cl let me close my. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, let's just give it to JTR since she got hit. Kind of want to keep her alive. Kind of want to keep Emily Holdo alive, but. Okay, so I see Vader, so let's try to get through to Vader. Do that. Um, he's just gonna cleanse in a second, so I'm not gonna do it. Uh, basic should be fine. I don't know if I should save it for Vader, though. I meant, like, th throwing a grenade would have been fine. Yeah, so he's gonna cleanse. Don't have sudden whirlwind. I want to get rid of the taunt first, kind of. Uh, let's keep Emelyn alive. That hurts. Good thing we had that. Okay, so here's the thing. I think we're doing okay on turn meter. I'm gonna actually hand wave on Sith Trooper, so... Okay, there we go. Vader, goodbye. And now it's it's just a regular first order team. Normally it's uh, that guy replaces. Uh, normally it would have been a, a stormtrooper, but what's going on, Cody? Early stream today, yeah, pretty early. It's three forty only, but uh, you can probably already guess why I'm streaming early. <laughs> what I want to do here? I don't think anything matters. Okay, so undispellable stun, so I can't dispel that. Uh, let's dispel this guy. Getting countered. Um, actually, no more taunts. I could hit ultimate too, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you know what? Let's hit ultimate. I'm gonna try this a little bit different today. Uh, might as well dispel the thing. Uh, also get a stun. Alright, don't need to throw the grenade now. Just gonna do a basic... Bulls game tonight? Yep. <laughs> you guessed it. Uh, I think we're about to alt here, so it doesn't really matter. If I threw the grenade, it would, it would not have mattered one bit. Should kill everyone and pr plus uh, SLKR's protection. Goodbye. I just need another ultimate turn. Which I hope it's gonna happen. It looks kind of scary right now. 
He's got three turns of that. And then I have no turn meter, so... I think I'm gonna keep Emelyn alive. Yo, Ray, there we go. Full health. I should be okay. I should survive till another ultimate, so... Yep, keep on doing that. How's it going, man? Yeah, 78%. We're not quite there yet. I think I just want to do a basic here. Doesn't really matter too much. This guy is ramping, though. He's ramping a lot of damage. Getting a lot of stats. Uh, just gonna do a basic. Basic. Yeah, that hurt. Holy crap. Uh, but here we go. He should not be able to get another ultimate now, so... Do this. And that should be it. Um... So now, like, uh, in the past two, three days, I've been getting knocked down to, like, rank 30-something. Like, 20-something, 30-something today, and I think it's mostly due to these uh, new data crowns being dark side only. And I think people are taking advantage of that. Or maybe it's just... They know it's for dark side only, so they, they try to hit my ray a little bit more. Otherwise, if it's a light side data crown, sometimes I feel like people don't even try, so... That could be why, I don't know. Um, but especially with these, a lot of... Uh, or, or pretty much every single shard has a lot of SLKRs. Um, so with these first order synergy... I feel like they can definitely utilize that. Um... A lot more than, than Ray can. Ray, Ray, well, Ray just cannot benefit at all from the level 3, uh, or uh, level 6. Also level 3, also level 9 benefits. So, it's actually pretty good stats. Look at that armor. Uh, so, I remember once upon a time I was talking about armor versus armor penetration. Um, I think a lot of people don't know exactly what they mean. Or how, how good they really are. Uh, or which stat is better, which one is... Uh, I said it's roughly the same, but armor penetration is actually better than armor. Here's a really simple way to understand that. Um, say you have like 100 armor flat. Uh, and if your data crown gives you 50% armor, you get 100 plus 50, which is 150, right? Now, you're sitting at 150 armor if your opponent has... 50% armor penetration It'll penetrate 50% of your armor, right? So it'll penetrate 150 divided by 2, which is uh, 75 of your armor So now effectively pretty much you only have 75 armor So I think that's why armor penetration is better than armor itself. So If that makes sense Hold on, 150 divided by 2 is 75, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Armor penetration, I think, is... Uh, I, assuming that's how the math works... Sometimes games are weird, it's... Uh, sometimes these mechanisms, mechanisms don't work exactly like how... They... how you would think they work. Uh... But if it works like how I would think it works, then, you know, that's the math. Uh, then that, then armor penetration is better than armor, so. But health still always good. Health, health benefits GLs quite a bit because, you know, GLs already get a lot of bonus health and protection from their relic levels. And, you know, on top of that, if you throw in another 32% health, you could easily get out of range of, say, you know, my, my race ultimate one shot. Right, but I mean, I could I could try to work around it by put a healing immunity on whoever, SLKR for example, and then he's not going to heal and then I ultimate. But I would have to keep JTR alive in that case. So it's it's not exactly easy. 
Uh, either way, though, I mean, dark side bonuses are always going to benefit the dark side, so. I don't know why they did that. I think, I feel like every data crown should have at least one light side and one dark side synergy. Uh, but this one only has dark side, so. Alright, so let's wait for one more minute. I want to check something though, hold on. <laughs> 63. I'm waiting for 150 so I can waste it. Um, these are actually, I feel like those are actually really valuable. Um, if you're not a perfectionist like me, you should probably save those for like the cheap slices. Uh, the base rate is like what? Or the first row is like what? Calibration. So the first row is only 15. And so if you have 60, if you have 150, then you're getting... Uh, you're getting 10 slices on like the first slices for each mod. Uh, so you can do 10 slices, but I'm gonna save up 150 for one slice. I really want to try to get, like, the last- I only have one roll left here. It might just completely get something useless, like what's been happening in the past. But I'm willing to do it. It is so close. This one is so close. <laughs> It's not a perfect mod by any means, like protection is kind of useless, like crit chance it would have been even better, so. Uh, but ideally, you, I want that protection to be flat health, so. Uh, but we're sitting at 3.98 million GP, so. Uh, the executor event, I believe, is in two days. Two days. Uh, so when that happens, I don't think there's a JC going on on that day, but I think I'll be streaming the Executor unlock. Hopefully I can unlock it. Uh, it's got a level 9. He's got a level 9 crew, level 9 Sith Trooper as well. Uh, it seems a little scary. I'm going to give it a shot though. Okay, one for Emlyn. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I do want Emlyn to be alive though, but here's a AoE, which is nice. Okay, good. It's actually turning out to be pretty okay. Pretty okay beginning sequence. As it's... might as well pass it here, right? Um... I'm gonna do this, actually. See if I can get Hux out. Do this. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, okay. That actually works out perfectly. And now he's getting a super slow ultimate, which is actually not... Which is actually pretty rare. It doesn't normally happen. Uh, let's do this oh god <laughs> whoa uh, I think I have to do this now Emma's gonna die but yeah relic 9 SLKR is no joke I I'm, I think I'm safe to do this now I'm gonna hit it he might have one more turn yeah okay there we go oh my god yeah, I think we're dead. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Having 30% or uh, yeah, 30% extra health. I cannot one shot this guy. One whirlwind and he has 70% uh, health steal. So he's constantly healing back up. So and I only hit like 30k at a time. He hits me 200k at a time, so... And Southern Whirlwind doesn't heal. 
So I think we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> oh man. All right. Mental note: Do not go for that guy. Uh, Thirteen. Who's fourteen? Another relic knight. Does he have health too? Oh no. Yeah, these are just gonna be unkillable. Like, I'm pretty sure he can just put it on auto and win against my Ray. That's how scary these data discs are. Uh, without data discs, I think my Ray can almost win every time. Assuming that I'm controlling my team. No Windows update? Okay, good. <laughs> I hate Windows updates. I don't hate them, they just take a long time. Uh, am I safe to climb right now? Where's my Discord? Is it this guy's payout? I don't think it is. Uh, actually, I can show you guys here. So here's my fleet shard, and in an hour and 14 minutes, it's going to be this guy's payout, then it'll be me, uh, and then it's him. So I think it's safe to get him now. Yeah, let's go. 600 KGP though. Um, so Hyena Bomber should be okay. And as you see here, I actually put Ebon Hawk clear. I don't think the last reinforcement really matters. Because I normally don't even get there. I don't even reinforce my last two ships. But he's kind of there like for security reasons. Because uh, they can get a lot of taunts and stuff. It's actually an interesting sequence, beginning sequence. Um, let's do. Yeah, that's fine. Sometimes my opponent having like a super high GP squad messes up the turn order, just like that. I mean, like that never, pretty much never happens. Normally, I kill Anakin by my capital ship's AoE, but he just died by himself there, so... Um... Could probably... Actually, you know, I just get him out. Or just uh, do that, that's fine. He had a second life. One more turn, there we go. Buzz droids, don't miss, okay. Yeah, so this is actually super weird. Sometimes the, the weaker, the less GP fleets are actually harder to beat. Um, it's kind of like how people say, don't get your, don't promote your executor to five stars because the speeds are thrown off. Like just stay at four or five, stay at five stars and and then wait till you have enough uh, blueprints to promote all the way to seven stars and then you just do that rather than promoting it to from five to six stars and then sitting there for a while. Claim this. Oh yeah, we can actually do some conquest too. Uh, but GAC starts in four minutes. Three minutes. Uh, but let's try to climb a little bit more on Squad Arena first. And also this. Conquest. So Conquest ends in 20 hours. Uh, so, you know, get your heads in if you haven't. Okay, so yeah, as you saw there, I got my yellow box. 
Uh, so I'm not going for stars anymore. Um, now I'm just spending all my energy on this. I don't know if I should do a refresh or not. Like, the rewards are not that impressive. It's it Typically, I just get like 5 of these or 10 of these and like 5 of these. I don't even get credits here. Wait, hold on a second. That can't be right. Wait, actually? How is that even possible? What about here, Sector 4? No credits, wow. No state of crown credits things. I don't know what they're called. 5 to 15. Acumen Mark 1. Wait, wasn't uh, Acumen Mark 1 used for Ray's data disc? The very first one, I think. Wait a second, did they take it out or something? Oops. Oh. 64k, 37k. I honestly might just do this one. Like, I don't need, unless I have another data crown, which I don't, I only have one. I think we all have one if you're, if, if you're free to play, so. It might be worth it to just do these and get some data caches. I know I'm sitting on three mail, but I really, really had no other use for Acumen Mark 1s. I mean, I could get a little bit more of those and try to promote my uh, current data disc to, or data crown to level 7. Like, level 6 doesn't even give me anything. It gives first order and bounty hunter synergies. Uh, but this level is going to require, like, a lot of these Acumen Mark 2s. Actually, 50 of them, 50 plus another 50. So I need 100 of these, and I don't think I can get 100 within 20 hours, so... I actually think there's no point to do the Sector 5 battles anymore. For me, personally. Uh, but if I get one more Data Crown, like, obviously I can promote another one to maybe level 3, 4, 5. But yeah, so there's currently I only have one Projecting Power, so... I could buy one, but it's gonna cost a lot. Yeah, 4,000, pretty much 4,000 of these currencies. I really don't think it's worth it. Um, to begin with, I don't have a lot of dark side, fully relict dark side teams that's going to benefit from this. And then if I brought it to level 6, there's first order, I don't have... I don't even have one character that's first order that's relict, so... Bounty Hunter, yeah, I mean, like, I've got, like, Bosk and the Executor prerequisites. So, like, Cadbane and... Well, Cadbane doesn't really count. He, he's not, like, a requirement. He, he's a soft requirement. Uh, Dengar. Boba Fett. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not gonna buy this. And these are actually not that expensive. It's only 500 for one mil. That's actually a lot. Um, okay, so this Mark 3. What about Mark 2? Can I buy Mark 2s with this currency? Wait, so for Acumen Mark 2, I can only spend ally points? Seven eighty-five crystals. Wow. Crystals, all crystals here. Yeah, because I need a hundred Acumen Mark Twos, right? If I wanted to promote 
my data disk to or data crown to level seven. I think it was. Um, so I'd have to spend a hundred k ally points, which is not happening. So, like with a hundred ally points, you can probably get like three, four thousand of these uh, charge shop tokens. So. I mean, I'm not saying these two are equivalent in value, right? Equal in value. But it just seems very, very expensive. Actually, I mean, now that I'm looking at the... How much, uh, how much of these you can buy? Uh... How much of data caches you can buy with shard shop currencies? You can get a million with 500 shard shop currencies. So now I'm thinking maybe let's not even do this one because <laughs> you only get what uh, 37 to 64k at a time. I don't think it's worth it. Um, so I think let's go back to sector six because I think at the end of the data crown, data disc or data crown rotation. I think uh, I think these things are gonna convert into more than just flat out uh, credits for for this. Uh, what do you call those data caches? Yeah, I think these are worth more data caches than like flat data caches from sector two, if that makes sense. Sector five, check. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so all my characters are, their stamina, they're all back, so, could do this one time, I suppose. Uh, who assists? Is it Kiyadi Moody? I don't remember. Let's do this, though. Oh, Ayla. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Ayla counters and then calls assists. Um, have to hit here. I like how Talon is surviving <laughs> all of this. Um, let's do... It doesn't really matter. Let's do... Let's do that. Can I keep Talon alive for no reason? So laggy with all the damage. Look at that, 200 damage over times. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Let's just uh, call Yoda and do a basic here. Going to stealth. 310 damage over times. Was that 310? I can't see. <laughs> yeah, so. Five acumen mark threes, alteration mark twos. I don't know. I think it's worth more than like thirty k, sixty k data caches flat. So maybe I don't know. I don't know the conversions. Um, eighty-seven percent stamina. I could use something else here. Uh, what do we have? 20 hours left? Okay, so... Let's just use Ray. Hero, hero, okay. Um, uh, auto. <laughs> 
they're all very healthy, so I'm pretty sure they can auto this without anyone dying. Might take a second though, because they don't know who to hit and what abilities to use. Yeah, so that's a waste of grenade right there. <laughs> I saw that coming. Three, two, one. Nice. Five and three again. Hmm. Okay, so it's either three of these alteration mark twos or five alteration mark ones. Uh, three, five, and what is this again? Akim mark three times five to ten. Okay, so uh, let me compare this to sector four. Akima Mark 3, 5 to 10, so that's the same as uh, uh, Section 5, right? Uh, except here you can get Akima Mark 2. 5 to 10, hmm. Okay, now I'm tempted to do this. I'm actually tempted to do this and also just spend another 50 crystals to do some refresh. Because uh, I'm sitting at 65, which means if I want to get to 100, because I need 100 uh, Acumen Mark IIs, right? Uh, to bring my Data Crown to level eight, uh, level 7. Uh, so I need 100, which means I need 35 more, which means 7 battles or less. Uh, so 7 battles at most, right? 7 battles times 15 per battle, that's... Uh, 110, 150 energy or something. I don't know. It'll be enough. If I do one refresh, I can get my data crown to level 7. Sounds good to me. And, and 50 crystals is like nothing, right? So... 83% stamina should be good. Yeah, it should be good. Tuskens. <laughs> oh god, I don't even think my Vader team can beat this. Uh, can I auto this? Because they seem to be super fast right off the bat, so... I can give it a try though, I mean, Pia has counter attack, so that helps. Another waste of grenade. Ray is about to hit ultimate. As long as I have some kind of uh, counter attack mechanism, I, I think I should be okay. I could do like a Vader lead plus Nest or something. And I feel like a Nest can just carry. Can we get rid of that guy? This guy right here. Or or him. Or him. Okay, cool. Ray didn't even get her ultimate off. <laughs> Alright, how many did I get? Ten? Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I feel like uh you know if you want to promote your data crowns, you should probably pay attention to what kind of rewards are in the at the end of each section. Um, but yeah, so... I Right now I need Acumen Mark 2, so this is what I'm doing, so... I wish it was more universal though, but I guess, you know, you can't just have a huge pool, right? This this way you can target farm, you can target farm these Acumen Mark 2s here. Like, I can target these specifically. Uh, here I get 5 to 10, right? Actually, let me check the other ones. 5 to 10. Uh, 
Acumen is at mark 1, yep. Acumen mark 2, 5 to 15. This is actually more. Okay, now I want to do this one. <laughs> the other one was 5 to 10, this is 5 to 15. Alright then. Uh, 73% it should be okay. Yeah, and you might want to review uh, the earlier battles. Because uh, apparently you can get more that way. Oh, nice, it's okay. I don't like that. I think my Vader can still deal with it though. Okay, let's do this. Um, I can probably auto. Uh, just manual this and auto, okay. Go here, throw the grenade. Probably don't need to at this point, but uh, I should have done that there. It's okay though, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, this might be too much damage for my Vader team to handle. Like, my Vader team might just die. Uh, Acumen Mark 2 got 10, right? So it, it has potential to be 15, so this is like somewhere in the middle. Whereas 10 would have been a high roll for uh, Sector 3's, or Sector 4's battle, so... Sector 3, actually let me check Sector 2. I know they have credits there, or uh, uh, what, whatever you call those. Yeah, data caches. What about this? Mark 1 only. What about Sector 1, actually, let me check. Kind of curious. 50 to 75k credits, is that less? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Wait a second. Wait a second. You can get data crowns here? Oh my god. Wait, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm doing this then. Holy crap, how is that even possible? I uh, don't care what it is, 63% stamina, I'm not going to use that anymore. So let's use uh, Grievous, maybe, plus droids. Some kind of droid team, let's do... R2 is... I uh, don't need R2 anywhere, so... Do that, do this, plus B1, plus... Uh, let's take B2. Yeah, it should be okay. For the most part. And they shouldn't be that high relic right here, right, in Sector 1, so... Holy crap, this is like each if I- oh, well they have these uh, true defense. Which is fine though. Django lead, okay. R2, do the burn. This uh, might actually be a little problematic. I, I feel like uh, they can revive, but they're only gear 12, so. Uh, stun Boba. No stun. Oh wow, it's a lot of damage. Might want to kill Boba now, so he doesn't like... get a bonus life or something. Like Django's able to do. Like, he could have gotten an extra life if he didn't die, uh, if he died already, so... Also, Mando, he doesn't gain extra lives, does he? I don't know. Just do, just do this, though. Wow. <laughs> oh no, I can't. So it's a chance. There's a chance. 75k, I'll take that though. I'll take 75k here, but... <sighs> Wait a minute. Hmm. Possible rewards, okay. Wait, well, here it still says possible reward. Okay. Uh, now I'm a little confused. Because this is actually worth a lot. And I want it. Uh, same team should be okay. Good extra turn. B1 always dies first. <laughs> 
Uh, no AOE. Okay. Um, do that. Do those. Uh, sure. They're all ability blocked. Need to kill Boba here now, if I can. Should be okay now. There goes Boba twice. Let's do this. I'm afraid... Actually, no, I should be okay. There we go. Data Crown? Wow. <laughs> what are the... I wonder what the drop rate is. Seventy-seven percent stamina. It should be okay, right? At some point, this is not gonna work anymore. I don't know what that point is, but so far it's working. So, actually, I think it might work all the way up to, or all the way down to fifty percent stamina or forty, maybe even thirty. I uh, should have healed B two. It's okay though. Yep, there goes B1. Yeah, now I'm like constantly getting ability blocks. Which is fine though, so far. There was Django one time. Okay, so he actually came back with 99 damage over times. I thought Mando, when Mando died, I thought he didn't have any the first time, so... As long as I don't have to reapply- Ooh! Bingo. <laughs> this is actually crazy. So that's like one out of three chance so far. So that's like... I mean, that I, like that battle just made me... 3,000 uh, uh, Shard Shop Currencies. Because look at that. What's up, Sir Disc? Welcome, man. Yeah, so that battle just earned me 3,925 data, or, uh, Shard Shop Currencies. That's actually crazy. I was wondering why so many people have so many data, data crowns. I, I didn't even know how to, where to get them. I thought they all just spent, like, uh, currencies here where they spent crystals. And, like, when, when you look at this, you're like, 4,000, like, it's definitely not worth that much. But apparently you can get it there, so I mean, that's that's a really good deal. I always feel a bit uncomfortable in this go streams, but I thought I'd come say hi. Why is that? Why do you feel uncomfortable? Because you know Jabba is watching. Yeah, so this is like free, free stuff, basically. <laughs> so I need one for Ray, and now I can even potentially get one for uh, for bounty for for my uh, my bounty hunters. Is that even going to be useful? Like, what are the possibilities? Let me check. So first order, don't care. I don't have them. Uh, bounty hunter mechani mechanics. Uh, bounty hunter inflicts a debuff. They have fifty percent chance to also inflict damage over time. Okay, that's actually pretty strong. Wow. Need to sit down with the revenue account last year. I want to run into the fellow who owned the account. It's okay, man. If you run into him here, I got you. <laughs> if he wants to talk crap to you, I got you. Uh, at the start of each Bounty Hunter ally's turn, if they have not taken damage since the last turn, they gain offense up and crit chance up for one turn. So that's actually not very... It could be okay. I mean, if you're Relict, offense up could be pretty good, I guess. It's not even that. I just want to have a good time with people you know. Um... Uh... Yeah, that's I I feel that I mean if he starts to talk crap and like and and you know if if uh, he continues to to do so without any like real reason behind it, I can just block him or something. So why I can mod you? Wait, are you still a mod here? 
<laughs> if you're a mod, you can you can block him or something. Uh, I don't know how to mod people. I can probably figure out a way to to mod to to block him or something. No, I'm not. Do you want to be a mod? I mean, if you want to be a mod, you can be a mod. When a rebound on your allies, stun an enemy, they gain speed up and offense up for two turns and inflict expose for two turns at the end of that turn. Um, I, I, I still like the damage over time a little better, a little bit better though. Yeah, sure. It's backslash mod name. Okay. Let me try that. Backslash mod username would be, do I have to use capital S and capital D? I do try to turn up where possible. Yeah. I don't think so. Well, there, there, you got the sword. <laughs> yeah, I did the capital just in case. Because I know Twitch is, I don't know, some, some platforms are weird about capitalization. Like, you have to type it exactly what it is. At the start of battle, bounty hunter allies gain retribution for three turns. Could be good, too. That, that actually seems... No, it's not. It's not all that, I think. It may seem good. I mean, it, it'll do. It'll strip some banners if you put bounty hunters on defense. First time each bounty hunter ally falls below 50% health, they gain damage immunity for one turn. Wow. That could be really good, too. Whenever bounty hunter allies are revived, they gain protection over time. Eh, probably not that good. Um, should I ban the account or block? Block is personal, whereas ban is for the channel. Um, wait, hold on. So I'm trying to remember what he did. I knew he had no reason to do whatever he did, but I can't remember what he did exactly. Or he wanted money for something. Or he got his credit card stolen or something? Is that is that what happened? Yeah, I mean you can ban him if you want. I don't care. <laughs> I actually don't care. He accused me of fraud and tried a lot of blackmail. So yeah, you can you can block him, man. What's up, raiding raider? Hello there. How's it going? Welcome to the channel. I don't know whether or not he knew. He was blackmailing, but I'll ban. Yeah, man. If you want to ban him, I'm I'm sure. Like I actually don't care. So. Uh, looking at that username, I don't think I've uh, ever seen him here. So yeah, I have no idea who it is. But yeah, I, I knew like back when we talked about it, I knew like he, he did not have the reason to do what he did. So, you know. All right, so what are these? Mark ones, okay, I can do this. Uh, I'm gonna get one to at least level five, I think. Probably bring it to level six even. I don't know, maybe, should I, should I do it? Uh, I won't be able to use it for offense though, cause I would probably use Zam, since I have Zam Omicron. But in terms of 3v3s, I think maybe there's a place to use it, actually, because I can have a boss lead. No, not really. I don't know. I'll, I'll just... I mean, at least it's going to go to level 3, so... Granted, the situation was complex. Yeah. I don't think he ever comes here, so it's, it's as if... It's almost like banning and not banning. Uh, not banning, it doesn't really matter, because it's just, it has the same effect. Uh, but banning, I know banning makes you feel more on the safe side, you know, so, and I, I, plus I don't really care, so, you know, go for it. Crit damage, interesting. Um, this could even be used on my Finfin fin Poe team. Crit damage actually helps there, so. Seven percent health. 
Hmm. Okay, so now the question is... That's going to cost a lot, so... Although that's kind of cheap. Alright, so that's Acumen Mark 2. Acumen Mark 2. It's going to cost 5 plus 30, so 35 plus 45. So 80, it'll cost 80 to bring to level 5. And then I won't have any for level 6, so... Uh, question. So now the question is... Hmm, armor would be nice. Yeah, my opinion of a person shouldn't really influence others, but it hurts the level of comfort and could potentially pose an issue in chat. Wall can do without issues in chat, that's true. Hmm, I, I don't know if I want to bring it to level 5. Dark side, what are dark side bonuses? Actually, let me check. Uh, first time each dark side ally is defeated, remaining dark side allies gain 15% offense and 20 speed for the rest of the encounter. Um, I mean, 3v3, like you can only gain like 20 speed and then, and then 40, and then like you're dead. But when our buffs or debuffs are dispelled um, at the end of that turn, they gain tenacity up and potency up for two turns. Okay. Is this good for anything? Does anything help beating Padme? Because I got stopped by Padme last time and I'm not looking forward to it. I mean, it's probably not going to happen again because you almost never see Padme, General Kenobi, and Cat in 3v3 as a team. So I think that was just a one time thing for me last time. I know he spreads a lot of false information about me to other people. I don't like that. Yeah, like you should not be doing that, so I can definitely get behind that, but I don't care about that. Oh, I see. You don't care about it. I, I do. <laughs> I mean, it, I don't care. I don't personally, you know, like as a concept of talking behind people's back and especially if what you're saying is not true, that's not a good thing to do regardless of who you are. Uh, but I, like I'm nothing against a specific person, though. I just feel like that's not something anyone should do. Uh, give me a second, I'm gonna turn on my lamp. Oops. Okay. It's a shame because it hurts other people's view, which can affect me in other streams. Yeah, that is true. You could... I mean, I, I don't really know Twitch very well, but you could just make an account that's like brand new. Unless, I don't know, I, I know people like subscribe and things and I don't know, spend money on Twitch and stuff. So I don't know if you like have to change the same account or keep the same account or something. But thanks for your follow rating Raider. Underscore. That is a big follow sign. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh, wait, why did it become, like, extra large? Hold on, let me see if I can make it into the middle of the screen. Yeah, it seems pretty centered now. Okay, there we go. That was, like, off to the right as well. <laughs> okay, should be okay now. Uh... But other people I didn't really speak to enough for it to be bought to didn't speak enough for it to be to bother me. I changed my name to be fair. However, it's far off my it's you I mean it's not far off? Yeah, not far okay, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, like my name before was yeah, Joe, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same Same uh same uh second part. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's worth it here.
Like if I do this, if I bring my data crown to level three, I pretty much have to use it for a dark side team. I do have like fully relict light side teams that can potentially benefit from it, but huh? And it's not cheap. It's not exactly cheap either. Crit damage, health. Um, I could try to gain. I should. Tr I, I could try to get more projecting powers. The worst part was I quite liked the guy who owned that account and told him a lot of info about me. Which is like not passwords, it's just about my life. Yeah. Th that that just makes it extra, right? That like what for for that and he still did what he did, it's it feels a little bit too much. I think it's worth to go for another one. I mean, now I have more relic characters for offense now, so I mean, I could benefit from having one more data crown, I suppose. And when he turned around on live stream and said I was a C word and whatnot, it hurt. Yeah, I mean. It, like saying things like calling people's names never really accomplishes anything like you're not coming to a solution to the problem you're not you're just not doing anything by calling people names plus you know it, people have feelings right so like you said it hurt it's like nobody he doesn't want to experience that either. Okay, Mando. Okay, so when he kills, he does not gain an extra life, which is good. Makes you wonder... Oh man, only credits. Makes you wonder if they actually were nice to you because they liked you as a person, or just because they were... too awkward to ask me to get lost, basically. Um, I'm sure it wasn't awkward because if he's got the audacity to call you name or call anyone names, I mean, he would, if he wants to tell someone to get lost, I I'm sure he will. But I mean, you never really know someone, you can never really know someone like too, too well over the internet, right? Even in person, it's like sometimes you can't predict how they're going to act in certain situations. Can I do 58%? <laughs> I'm going to try. He said this on live stream when I was banned. It was also months after that, after the incident. I like why what like what's the benefit of him saying that like months after is he like stuck in time or something like I, I just don't see a point of like keep on bringing something up that's like oh god he just gained an extra life <laughs> um but like I move on, like I'm the type of person that moves on quickly. And and to me, whenever I hear, or whenever I see someone like saying something, bring something up from like way in the past, I just feel like like what's the point? There goes R two. <laughs> I can hear R two scream. Right, let me pull something up on my phone. One second. Uh, where's my...
All right, let me let me know if you guys can hear this. Actually, hold on, I can probably I can put it really close to the micro. Shut your ears. I don't know how, but. <laughs> that was my R2 sound effect. That wasn't too loud, I don't think. Uh, he never noticed the situation. Like, he, what do you mean? Like, he never saw the situation the way you saw it? Or what do you mean? Which is why I crumbled, be both because I didn't know information, because I felt uncomfortable. Uh, you might have to remind me of the incident for me to really understand what you mean by that. By those, you never noticed money came out of his bank. Let's try forty-eight percent. Okay, so if I remember correctly... The lad buying the hyperdrive once I gave him the account. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, you might have to... Did you get the account back or something? 21 stacks, should be okay. Uh, not quite. Good. Good. Okay, so, alright. Nice. Yeah, so this team is still working at 40 something percent stamina. Oh, nice. I got a data, data disc, data, data ground, whatever. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, first guy gave me his old account. I, oh yeah, that's right. I remember now. I gave up with it, uh, gave it to an, uh, acquaintance and he bought the hyperdrive with the first dude's information still on the account. I, uh, yeah, I'm starting to remember. Oh, the account got banned? Ooh, man, protection. That's kind of useless. Crit damage, okay, I can take that. Um... I'm gonna stop getting more data crowns now, uh, but I, f I feel like it might be worth it. Hold on, 21% crit damage, 6% protection, 7% uh, health is a little bit better, I think, so I'm gonna do this. Not entirely, just banned from transactions. Still have the access to the account as the third guy ran away. And so the third guy's the one that, that keeps on talking stuff, right? Um uh, don't wanna bring I guess. I mean I'll have a dark side one. Actually, hmm. I'm gonna save this for light side and level the other one for dark side. I'm gonna bring this up for the dark side synergy. 6% protection, 7% health. It's roughly the same. I want to give my light side a little bit more boost, though. So I'll give this uh, a slightly worse data crown to my uh, dark side team. It's probably a bounty hunter team or something. Oh, he's the one who spent the first dude's money. Oh! I got you. Okay, now it all makes sense. Oh, that's a tricky situation. It is a complex situation, like you said, yeah. 
Um, man, do I really need to spend this for the dark side uh, thing? Is it really worth it for 50 Mark 1 Acumens? It's useless, uh, buffs or debuffs. Kind of useless. Kind of useless. Special ability, they gain 15% turn meter. Um, this might be alright, but still kind of useless. Whenever you inflict damage over time, they gain a stack of protection. Uh, I don't know, these are not very appealing to me. That being said though, I can I can still like use it, I guess. I mean it lasts for 90 days, right? Yeah, so it lasts for 90 days, a hundred days actually, so I mean What am I gonna hold on to 50 mark Acumen Mark 1 for? So let's go. Uh whereas the first guy who made a live stream about me is banned from this channel. Complex equals easy to misunderstand. Yeah, I'm sure. Which is what the guy who got scammed did. He misunderstood. When I felt it was impossible to explain, he was too fixated what I that I was lying. So he thought it was you who spent the money, right? But it really, it was the third guy. If I, if I, uh, if I am interpreting interpret interpreting the situation correctly, whenever Dark Side allies use a special ability, they gain fifteen percent turn meter. This is actually not bad. It could be one of the best ones. So I think I'm just gonna keep it. I'm not gonna reroll. Uh, I do have a lot of rerolling mats, but I'm not. I'm not gonna spend it. Oh, actually, you know what? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I mean... I can understand if he lost like $100. That he... I can understand the frustration, but you gotta hear the full story, right? I don't exactly blame him for blaming you uh, for the loss of money because uh, you did transfer the account to the third guy, right? But, but, but you did not like you did not scam him. That's not your. That's not what happened. Like you did not do anything wrong. Is, like that's a fact, and so if he blames you for for anything, like that's just. Uh, him being a little a little ignorant on the situation, I feel like. At the end of the day, it's only a hundred, and implying he would take me to, and implying he would take me to, he would waste more than a hundred uh, to 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 take you to court. And also, I don't think he would he would win uh, the case, even if he did, which costs thousand. Yeah, exactly. I'll contact Arnold if he brings you to court. He's a law Arnold's a lawyer, right? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Imagine Arnold being your lawyer. <laughs> Defending a Swigo player. Who's being wrong wrongly accused of, of uh whatever he's accusing you of. Like he doesn't even have a reason. Like what would he even say? Like you didn't do anything wrong. Like, thievery? You did not steal the money, right? I mean, like, what's he even gonna do? He doesn't even know who I am, where I live, anything? Exactly. He's just saying that, I, I don't know, just to say, I uh, guess, I don't know. From what I know, Anno is a great lawyer. He's a great, he's a great, uh, Swigo player. I mean, uh, YouTuber. I don't really know anything about Anno personally, or, uh, per, uh in his private life or anything like that at the end, I know he lives in the same city as I do at the, at the end of the day the first guy shouldn't have left his card on the account exactly uh, so he the first guy gave you his account right so you had that account for a while I feel like he should have disconnected his card from the account the moment he gave it to you because like why would you give 
Why would you give anyone anything that has a direct access to your personal banking account? You know, that's on him exactly. I had no idea his card was on there. I didn't buy anything. I'm free to play. Yeah, exactly. But he should know. He should know that. Oh, my my card is associated with this account, and and if I want to give this account to someone else, I should probably take that off as a you know. Unless he just doesn't care, <laughs> or if he forgot. I'm I I mean it's not that he doesn't care because of course he cares and now he's making all this fuzz about it but you know he also didn't change his email or anything uh, email for what. Okay, so here I think I should go for it because I'm not going to spend the Acumen Mark II on anything, so... Yeah, I think I should go for it. Health steal? <laughs> Doesn't really help me. Uh, I might as well, right? 750k, I don't need to. I really don't need to. Like, 30 was cheap, uh, 45 is like... I could hold on to it. Hmm. The only team that can use this data crown that's gonna benefit from the dark side synergy is uh, my bounty hunters, and my bounty hunter is, it would be a boss cleat, and they already have built-in health recovery, so health steal is just a useless stat for now. Uh, the account before sending me the info. Um, I don't know if it's possible to change your email that's associated with the with the account. The situation, from what I know, happened in September, October 20, 2021, whereas he didn't message me about it until November 29th, 2021. I wonder when he noticed his money went missing. I'll lock both of these. It's hard to accidentally delete a data crown, but I'm just gonna lock it anyways. You noticed number 29th? I see. Okay, so at least, you know, the moment he noticed it, he did something about it. Although... It just feels like he's driven by his emotion and just not willing to hear anything. Like, he wants to blame you because you're the one he knows, right? Or at least, you know, he gave you the account, so he knows you to some degree. Um, so, in terms of, like, the money loss and the account, you're the only other person he knows. I guess maybe that's why he's trying to blame everything on you. But he's not willing to hear the full story where there's a third person, right? But I assume the situation happened in September, October. I have no idea. I see. This looks really nice, though. I wish I had another security primer, though. Because security primer actually has a life size synergy potential. Uh, for the alignment, for level 3. It would have been nice to have some kind of... Um, Something. Like, I'll even take this accuracy up. Create, um, inflict a debuff. This doesn't really matter. Evades, gain offense up. Oh my god, this would have been perfect for Ray. Holy crap. This would literally. Give Ray so much damage. Wow. <laughs> I messed up but not by not getting another uh, security primer. Third guy went off the radar anyway. I see. 
I said I would contact the third guy, but I started to feel uncomfortable and then blocked him because it's not really my responsibility to deal with the third guy. You blocked uh, the third guy? I mean, I would, if I were you, I would probably just give the third guy's information to the, th the third guy's information to the first guy so they can directly contact, talk to each other because to me, I don't think you got any business to, to really do with this situation. So I feel like they should talk it out or something, figure it out and delete his account where I sent him the details. Huh. I blocked the first guy, third guy deleted. Yeah, it makes sense. So he was unreachable, yeah. So he disappeared. Wow. I mean, at that point, um, At that point, there's really nothing anyone can do besides maybe the bank trying to reverse the transaction, right? Like, he cannot blame that on you now that the third guy is unreachable. It's not like the responsibility automatically transfers. Like, the stealing of the money does not automatically transfer from the third guy to you because you did not steal the money, right? So... It's not even stealing, it's just... Uh, Maybe he just tried to click on hyperdrive and then buy and then it just went through. <laughs> like it, maybe it didn't even like register to the third guy that, oh, maybe uh, or what even happened here? Like, why did it go? Why did it not ask me for uh, 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 my, my card information or some, something? The bank should be able to reimburse him. They should be. I think they should be. But he may have had insufficient evidence or waited too long. Probably waited too long would be my guess. But still though, like still the bank should should be able to do it. Like insufficient evidence, as long as you say it's not me, like it was somebody else. Like my, my account, my bank account got maybe like he could make up any any of the reasons. That, that could make the bank do something, reverse the transaction or something. I feel like, and, and, or at least, uh, you know, the, I know that's what my bank would do. We don't even know if it was intentional, exactly. I misclicked on buy before. Yeah. Although it does bring up a window saying, hey, are you sure you want to make this purchase? But my card isn't linked to my account. Um, my card is not linked to my account either, but it is linked to my Apple. So any in-game pur purchases would automatically go to my um, Apple Pay thing. Uh, but it would ask me like, are you sure you want to buy this? And if I ever misclick on something, I would just say no. Uh, although in game to get to the money section, you have to. Oh wait, hold on, it's right here. These things are cost money. Okay. But I have never really went through with the accidental purchase because it gives me a warning. So I don't know. Who knows? It's easy to mistake cards if you're not paying attention. True. True. Okay, so I cannot one-shot this guy. Uh, even rank 14 is out of my one-shot range. Let's try this rank 15 guy. These data crowns are ridiculous, by the way. I could try to switch out ammo and hold over for BBA. No, it's not gonna work. Nah, it's not gonna work. Have to have ammo here, I think. I think the first guy said it was Monzo. What's Monzo? Many people use Monzo. I'm not a fan of Data Crown so far. 
I think the only people who are fans of Datacron um, are either CG workers who directly benefit from uh, the money being made by all the Datacron transactions or like whales, super whales uh, who only want to spend money to win or they're trying to win without being without applying skill like there's like here I'm opening my wallet let me win <laughs> I think those are the only two type of people who actually truly 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 enjoy data crowns. Otherwise, some of these mechanisms are kind of ridiculous. Like dodges, like I said on day one, dodges was going to be a problem. And then later on, like he started seeing people with 100% uh, dodges. It started to come out more and more and more. Arnold's complained on, about the data crowns on his stream. I don't blame him uh, about all the... 100% dodge data crowns all the time, so. I knew it was going to be pretty stupid. Uh, but it actually surprises me, like, to get a data crown to roll, like, on uh, dodge for every single roll, that, that's going to cost you something. <laughs> I'm surprised people are actually doing that. Oh god, what do I even do? I just do a whirlwind here. He's gonna do the thing. I might not one shot him, but I'll try. Oh, there goes JTR. Can't even apply healing immunity anymore. Oh, nice. I actually one shot him because he's only Relic 8. Relic 9 makes a huge difference here with the Data Crown combination. Mazo is a bank in the UK, I see. Cool idea, but it seems less polished than it should be. I feel like they should put a cap, or at least put some kind of dimin diminishing return. Uh, if you really want to make it make this stupid uh, mechanism into the game, like dodge, uh, you, you should cap it at like 65% or something max. I've seen what dodges can do. Uh, and I knew right off the bat when I introduced the data crown, I was like, yeah, this is going to be a problem one day. That day came pretty soon. Uh, I should be able to beat this guy. Um, to be able to even reach 90% is already crazy. And if you actually hit 100, there's not much, not many mechanics that can reduce that. That can give you like a good enough chances to actually hit your opponent. And there is no, there is no game if you cannot even hit your opponent, right? Like at that point, it's it's not even. Hmm, how can I strategize and win? It's just uh, you lose. Period. For the most part, I mean, there are like unavoidable uh, hits and accuracy ups and evasion downs and stuff like that, but. And it's funny how like most of the accuracy ops, you, you, you can get that from more data crowns. <laughs> so you have to counter a, da a data crown by having an another kind of data crowns that specifically counters the, the stupid uh, mechanisms. All in all, I mean, it's a, the only, per the only person that's, well, the only entity that's really benefiting from this is uh, CG, so. Like they're creating a problem, dodge, right? And then they're also kind of providing a solution by having accuracy of data crowns. Uh, either way, you gotta spend money on data crowns, <laughs> is what CG is saying essentially. Uh, just one shot him. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Don't do not take a turn. Okay, that's fine. No reinforcements. At least with some GLs, you can counter without data crowns for GLs. Yeah. 
you can counter without hardcore or oh data crash or GL, yeah. Right, so the non-GL counters with data crowns uh, like it might not even work anymore. Cause you're really pushing it at that point. I like the non-GL counters, me too. I was about to build them after after my after I get my executor. But now it's pretty much guaranteed that as long as they have a GL on defense, they're gonna have some kind of data crown with it, and it's probably gonna be really broken. So non-GL counters, I don't even know if they do people still use non-GL counters to counter GLs anymore with data crowns? I don't know. I haven't seen... Yeah, I mean, I guess there's a Fennec one, right? Fennec Bounty Hunters. I think it, it still works for the most part, as long as they don't have too much dodge. But... It's not exactly... Like, I would probably not build that, because... Uh, it's too specific. I mean, I do have BAM now, so... Maybe, actually. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. I'll see. My account is in the same place, to be honest. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do after Executor. I'm thinking about gas. Although, I mean, there is something that I kind of wanted to show you guys today. Hold on, 5 o'clock, 6, 7, okay, I should be okay. Um, so ever since I got Ray, like, I okay, I was kind of looking at, like, what are my alternatives? Like, it, what if I rushed for another GL? And I was surprised at how many, how many of these requirements are already satisfied just by me rushing for the executor. And actually, first order as a faction... Um, I actually pretty much have everyone. I have everyone besides First Order Stormtrooper almost 7 stars. First Order Executioner, I can probably get him to 7 star in less than a month. So, all I need is gear to get SLKR. So, I'm not that far, to be honest. Uh, plus, the capital ship, the, uh, the finalizer is something... Uh, although he's re hold on a second, isn't there a finalizer event right now? It's a very feasible GL. I'm thinking about it. I don't think it's a. I could probably farm for gas and uh, SLKR at the same time. I feel like. Uh, but yeah, let's try to get more uh, uh, Hux blueprints, finalizer blueprints. Um, how does this event go again? I think I want to use... I think I want to use him, him, oops. Him and... Yeah, yeah, Hound's Tooth, right? I need this guy and also... I need one more. I don't know, I don't know if Boba is better or... Yeah, maybe Boba is better. Uh, but the problem is, it might take a few tries because my my tie silencer is super low. I feel like this is the bare minimum, like a very bare minimum. Like, look at my ship. Damage and protection doesn't really doesn't really help. Although, uh, doesn't this apply though? I don't really know how uh, finalizer works, but. Turn meter reduction. When an enemy reinforces, gains turn meter. I could do this, but I kind of want to save my credits, fleet credits for uh, my executor battle, which is going to be t in two days, actually. Super low GP squad. I had to watch some guides. <laughs> but then I added my own moves. Uh, what I what's the first move here? I think I want to stun this guy. I think I have to stun that guy. Uh, get breach here. Uh, here's the tricky part. I might just full send now. 
Hold on, what's that ability? Okay. So at least now he's like almost gone once, uh, once already. So there's a heal. Uh, okay, good. That cleanse was very important. Like, each of my account has its issues. I don't think any account is perfect. Um, I could probably do this now, right? Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Reinforce him. Like Sidious, ships are a problem, Revan, mods are a problem. Yeah. I, I tried to, this is why, this that was a problem for me too when I had two accounts. That's why I deleted my main account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, target lock call target ally to assist um, sure let's go for this it's a nice AOE too uh, let's do that get rid of the taunt now Anakin's open can we get a hit nice yeah so once Anakin's out it should be much 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 easier uh, ships absolutely stunt second stunt account growth stop account growth came and farm Zetas that's god awful oh so wait are you saying you can't even finish the uh, the uh, fleet challenges what do I even do here I think I do this um I don't know if that was the best move here, actually. Let me try to get a breach here. Chance to breach, right? Yeah, okay. No breach, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, let's do this, I think that's okay, because he's going to gain turn meter from that, right? And I just do this. Wow, super tanky, okay. And I can't even inflict the breach anywhere else. <laughs> Okay, now we may have a problem, but it's got defense up. Um, should I try to go for a stun or just full sand? I'm gonna full sand. Yeah, so now the ton is dispelled. Uh, this guy's in the open, which is terrible. Can I get a breach somewhere? No, actually, it's not gonna matter now because he just lost ton, so his cooldown is gonna be quite a few turns. Oh no, I meant to hit there, actually. That was a misplay. <laughs> No stun, but he's out though. Might still make it. Nice taunt. Okay, now we have a taunt. I almost want to buy the hyperdrive. Bloating the GP to high heaven. Getting the ships and resources into a good spot. Uh, for which account? Oh, that's right. Well, <laughs> she does that. Can I get a breach, though? I really want a breach. Um, I can go for a stun here, though. Let's go for a stun here. No stun. AoE, there goes Xanadu. There's the taunt. No breach, though, still. What's up with these breaches not landing? Sidious? Oh, boy. There's Plo, two turns. Okay, can we survive for two turns? There's a stun. Um, stun one more time. No stun. Almost got him, though. Ooh. Uh, now my cooldown is destroyed. <laughs> Can we make it? Uh, hmm. I cannot assist him. All right. I'll send the ally code over for you to look. That yeah, may be off stream or something, so you can get an idea. I can see it now. Um, if you want to send it. Ooh, do not. Okay. Well, is this still doable?
get some crit damage up here. Oh man, this might be impossible to do now. Almost want to hit full auto, but uh, let's do this. I got you. Yeah, sometimes I think I may have deleted you again because I go through my list and I see if anyone's inactive for, for a while, more than 24 hours. I don't normally check, but when I do, um, I'll just go through all my list and check that. While well, here goes my crit damage up. One more. I think I can still beat it. Offense down, target lock. Does I don't really care about offense down. Maybe just an AOE. That's Revan, okay. Man, snips. Yeah, this is slightly annoying here. <laughs> hmm. Maybe just keep on basicing. Alright, so basic did what? How much damage? I can't even see. The numbers are too small. They're red. Not a crit. Let's do this. Breach gives defense down, right? So. Oh no. That was a waste. She's gonna do the thing. Yeah. I think I should just kill Plo then, first. Okay, the bombs are fine. I just don't want... I don't want uh, another, like, second life. I just need one more turn. Oh, no. Uh, sure. <laughs> Procs. Need him to take one more turn. Come out of stealth. Days, unfortunate. Let's do this. There he goes. I need him to drop the protection ups get some crit damage up so close so close I uh, get that here breach actually helps uh, breach gives minus 25% defense which is not nothing uh, it does this do more damage I wonder 13k was it? One more hit? Oh my god, is this an infinite loop? I feel like I'm- oh no. <laughs> I was just about to say I'm almost there. Come on. Uh, okay, that's not gonna work. Let's AoE pin that. Oh my god. My Hux is only purple gear, so it's like, AoE doesn't really do much damage. Um, oh my god. <laughs> the bombs, that should be fine. That should be fine. There we go, wow. Now, can I kill Snips? Could be a problem, I don't know. I feel like she's gonna keep on doing the thing where like the the cleanse plus uh, retribution thing, but hopefully not. Target lock, that's fine. Let's keep on doing basics. So basic, actually, that did 19k damage. Wow. Wow, that's it. Okay. This is what I'm saying. I think this is the bare minimum you can go for for this event. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll check your account after, after, uh, the smuggler's run. 
How about that? It'll be quick. I'll just put it on auto. I'm going to copy your ally code right now. Auto. Okay. Yeah, so when I had my main, um, basically my attention is split 50-50, like in terms of this game. And I can never fully consider all the aspects of, like, one account. And sometimes when I farm things, I don't even know, like, which account I'm farming for anymore, so... Uh, plus, you know, it was somewhat time-consuming, too to manage two accounts, especially when Conquest comes around. If I want to do both Conquests, like, that would just, uh, like, that was, that, that was very, very bad. Um, so I just got rid of it. <laughs> like, you got me here deleting a, an account with a Galactic Legend, and then you got that guy who, who was complaining about his hyperdrive thing. <laughs> okay, nice. This is just a nice carry. Like, she can do it by herself. Almost. Like, I need these other characters, though. Like, even though they're, like, super low gears and stuff, they can actually take care of those two Death Troopers relatively easily. There we go, that's uh, just, yeah, so you can auto every time, which is pretty nice. Otherwise, like, they're all purple gear besides this. I, I got him to Relic 3 for Ray, GL Ray requirement, so. Gear 10, gear 9, gear 8, rest, so. You just have patience. I, I do, but I don't have patience for my main account. <laughs> And a logical mindset, and the other guy just needs to slow down. I mean, he just needs to listen, like, I feel like these days people don't listen. Everyone wants- everyone has something to say, right, but... Everyone wants to be heard, but they don't want to listen. Like, listening is a skill that... People should work on, like, in general. Like, like I, like I say, and many, many people probably have heard the quote, like, what's, what's everyone's favorite subject? It's themselves, right? Like, we all know people who can talk about themselves all day. <laughs> oh boy, this is not going very well. Might need to click on here, here and there once. Okay, there we go. Got one. Him next. Oops, misclick. He's dying though, so... Okay, there we go. Nice cleanse. One more ton. Should be okay now. Like, Krennic cannot solo... Okay, there we go. Your Nez is too tenacious. As she was being stunned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, she does have like 170, almost 170%, uh, uh, what do you call it, tenacity, so. Typically, she's okay against things. Uh, so that's done, this is done, don't need to worry about that, I already did that, okay. Let me check something real quick, though. Yeah, so every once in a while, I would just pay attention. I don't even care the name. I just look at this. Because my logic is, if they haven't played for more than a day, they're they're probably just done playing or something. Because uh, the daily bonuses, it's actually... The last few days, like, you might miss a Zeta if you don't, if you miss a day or two, so... 
so I feel like if they miss a day, they're, they're probably likely just not playing anymore or something. Although, uh, if their name is Ahsoka Tano, you have to keep them on your list, right? That was my old account. <laughs> I actually want to see my old account. I, I will in a second. Padme, I see, I see. Are you going for a negotiator account or a fleet? Actually, hold on, just give me one second. All right. Uh, would you mind if I add you? Yeah, sure, man. Darth Coffee. If you want to drop your ally code or something, actually, here. Uh, does that work? Yeah, there's my ally code. What's your name in game, though? So I make sure I accept uh, you, your request. I'm surprisingly not even far off the actual capital ship. But the fleet, yeah, well, that's an issue. Relic 6 GMY as your second beside, besides Darth Vader. Interesting. Uh, how did you get your Padme? Do you have like Geos or something? Oh, oh, did you use like a uh, separatists, I guess? Wait, um, wait, how long have you had this account? My account is Sith Bounties? Okay. Uh, if I see a request, I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. Uh, Yoda is a crunch of relic mats. Oh, yeah. And, and 7 to 8, especially, like, bringing a character from relic 7 to 8, like, that's gonna take so much relic mats. Uh... This account is as ridiculous as it gets. Trying to get the last few hard nodes, only level 78. I see, I see. Wait, so... Uh, Darth Coffee. Like, do you need a character for both light side and dark side characters? Let me check what I have for my loadout. Or for my ally thing. Who do I have? Should be Darth Vader. Yeah, so I've got Darth Vader for Dark Side. If you want Wampa, I can switch to Wampa. Is Wampa better? Wampa might be better. No, Vader is good, but Wampa, Wampa is also pretty good. Wait, hold on, who is better? What do you guys think? Who do you think is a better uh, ally carry? Is it Vader or is it Wampa? Uh, it's about five years old, wow. I didn't play for years. I see. I would have guessed maybe two years, three years at most, even if it's like somewhat uh, inactive for the most part. Uh, Vader is better? Okay, I'll, I'll leave Vader here then. Um, so I have Vader on the dark side. And then I should have, oh god, light side is going to be Ray. so... <laughs> it should be, uh, let me check. Yeah, so you're gonna have Lysite, Ray for Lysite. Um, she's gonna give you 30 speed and m more importantly, 30% max health, so you can survive a little bit better. But her second ability should just make your whole team survive though, so Lifeblood gives you basically infinite protection uh, for these battles, so Lysite should be okay. You can force crush on first level, true. MM on second level, third level, do force crush again, that is true, yeah. Assuming he goes first, which I'm almost pretty sure he will. I mean, he's only 256 speed by default, but he's gaining plus 16 by himself, so he's at uh, 5, 6, 72. Yeah, he's 272 speed. Uh, if you have Empire or Sith, he's going to be faster, but... I like Ray either way. I like her animations. 
Yeah, her animation is is uh, I like the ultimate animation. Although if you pause it frame by frame, it looks kind of funny. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. And no, it wasn't me who did that. <laughs> we were chatting in Discord one day, and like, uh, I think it was Jax. He pot he recorded the or or somebody record. Yeah, we both recorded it. And then we played it back frame by frame and saw the lightsaber was literally almost off the uh, the screen. And then when when she's like upside down in the air, it looks kind of funny. Uh, where's your other account? I got it. Um, Revan. Oh, I see. Uh, SL Kara most likely first GL. City is probably C. Oh, so this one's got 1.5. No relics yet. I think Vader would still be a pretty good first relic. SLKR most likely. I see you got a six star Hux. Officer 2. Kylo Ren. But C overall is not great. It's a massive fear gear crunch. Oh man, Sith Trooper though. Crew isn't far off relic TBA, TBA, TBH. Sith Trooper needs attention. Yeah. He even painted his, uh, his outfit red to get your attention. He's only two stars. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm not actually that far from. I don't know if I showed you guys already earlier. I, I, I mean, I mean, I did. I, I wasn't sure if you were here or not, but uh, I'm not even that far off from. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about before too. Do you have your uh, finalizer? Oh wait, hold on. Or summon star. Okay. Oh, so you don't have your Kylo Ren's command shuttle yet. I've got one piece left. Also, back when Revan was active years ago. Yeah, so, I mean, if you're going to go for SLKR, I would probably pick up the pays on the ships. Uh, if you play every day, like, ships are going to... If you go at the same pace, you... If you single farm everything, I feel like the ships are going to be a problem. So I would actually double farm it. There's no 7? G13? No no 7 star? Oh, I see, I see. Oh, wow. Interesting. That's kind of cool, though. Projecting power. <laughs> It was all G12, and that's you. I think that was Darth Coffee. Okay, so... Going after, like, oh yeah, so I showed my my uh, First Order faction, so... Uh, because going after Ray gets you uh, BBA, and BBA requires a uh, First Order squad to unlock BBA. Uh, so I had a First Order squad already, so I'm only missing like some First Order Stormtrooper shards and First Order Executioner, which I which I can get to some stars in in uh, a, a less than a month, um, pretty much 100. percent Assuming I refresh three times every day. So, but yeah. So the only thing I really need for SLKR is gears. Oh wait, you were here. I remember now. Uh, sorry, disc. 
Uh, but the other ones, since I'm going after uh, the executor. What's the state of your old account? I'll check in a second. I I'm actually kind of curious. I don't think it's as far as this, though. Uh, so yeah, so by going after the executor, I'm passively completing some of these requirements for other GLs too, which is kind of cool. So Vader's already done for C, Pieta's already done for C, uh, Imperial TIE Bomber's already done for C. And like, Palpatine already have some stars, Royal Guard already some stars, Director Krennic, I don't know. Sidious, uh, I'm not really sure. Darth Maul, summon stars already. Dooku, summon stars already. Sith Marauder, not really sure. Jedi Knight, Anakin, like, if I'm gonna go for after gas, I'll have a summon star. I'm, wait, hold on, I already have a summon star, Jedi Knight, Anakin. Uh, but to bring him to Relic 7 is something I'm willing to do because he'll be okay. He'll be a little bit better that way uh, with the Qui-Gon Jinn team. Uh, Theron already have some stars, Tarkin already some stars, Veer's already some stars, Stark. Could, I could get him to some stars relatively easily, so... I don't even think I'm that far from C either. <laughs> uh, but this guy though, I'm probably... He will probably be my last GL, maybe. Mostly because Jedi Knight Luke requires a some star Rolo. I don't want to spend my get two tokens on Rolo because I want to spend my get twos on uh, uh, what do you call it, Chirotex. Uh, so this is probably not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, now, if you look at Kenobi, already have Negotiator as some stars. Uh, General K Kenobi as some stars. Mace Windu some stars already. Ala Secura, I'm not 100 percent sure. Bo-Katan, I can farm that. IG already some stars. Uh, he will be two for the gas event. Clone Surgeon, not really sure. Watan Boar is already six stars and a half, so I'm not that far off from the seven star Watan Boar either. General Grievous already relic five. I just need two more relic levels. Cad Bane, he will be relic five for the Executor fleet. Uh, Cody, I can get him. Jingo Fat already some stars. Shock T. Uh, is required for the gas events, so sure, I mean, I'll just bring her to Relic 7, right? GMY already have some stars. So, like, a lot of these farms I've already done. It's kind of crazy. He packs a punch at R7, GMY. And then here's Lord Vader. Bad badge I don't have. <laughs> He is a newer GL, so like a lot of these I don't really have. Hunter tech I don't have. I don't have Rucker. Tuscan Raider I don't have. Actually, maybe I do. Padme, by going after gas, I'll have Padme. Uh, and Bo, I can farm him. Echo, you know, all these. Well, Echo 501st is going to be a part of the, the gas team, so I'll have that done. Uh, Bad Batch, yeah, I don't have Bad Batch. Count Zuku already some stars. Zan already have some stars. BTLB Y Wing, I can farm that. Tarkin already some stars. Arc Trooper already some stars. Gas, I will go for gas, so that's not a problem. New Gunray already some stars. So, a lot of the farming is already done. It's kind of weird. It's a kind of a weird feeling. JKA. Oh, especially under Qui Gon. Yeah, I can imagine. Especially if you stack that speed. This guy is someone I have not paid attention to though, because I know I'm probably not going to have him for a very, very long time. Yeah, so these are all single drops. Are all these, is Chris Hannon even farmable right now? Han Solo? Easy, should be easy, right? Gamorrean Guard, it should be an easy farm. Outrider, uh, you're going to have to, I'm going to have to farm that Greedo. Mm, I don't think I have him, or maybe I do. I don't think he's some stars though. And this this guy's new. Uh, yeah, Jedi Knight Luke, I'm not gonna have. So yeah, so this this is like I'm not considering going after Jabba anytime soon. But yeah, so by going after Ray and Executor, like these t these two things alone will get you so many prerequisites met already for these other GLs. Uh, which which is kind of weird. It feels kind of weird.
and, and like because I'm not that far off from like some of these GL, like especially SLKR and C, makes me kind of want to go for these two after after gas, or maybe even simultaneously. Hmm. Wait, do I still have Lyside tickets left over? How is there a way to check? I don't really want to go after Kenobi though, even though some of these requirements are already done. Uh, cause he's ideally you want to have cat with Kenobi, right? So I'm not, and I'm not going to have cat for a long time. So I don't, I don't really know if I want to go for Kenobi yet. Uh, but yeah, a lot of these are, a lot of these are progressing like at the same time. It's kind of weird. Cialis. Hmm. I, there's honestly, I can go any way I want after the executor. But man, I think I just have to go after gas first. And I can probably farm something something else on the side too. Uh, but that's the thing I'm not sure about. I don't really know what. I don't really have like a strong desire to farm anything specific besides gas. Yeah. Not really. Admiral Radis Cassian Dash. Okay, Dash is double dropped now, so Mamathma, Biston, Jin or Sohera. L Rider. Uh, wait, what? Okay, so this is already some stars. This is already almost some stars. Um, man, if I want to go after profundity, I honestly just need these two ships. Hmm. Yeah, there's too many directions. I don't even know which one to take anymore. Oh yeah, uh, let me check my old account. Kind of wandering. So that's the account that I deleted. Uh, the only thing it has that my this account right now doesn't have. Okay, so I've, I've deleted this account for what? 87 days? That's like what? That's a long time, right? It's still rank 30 for fleet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, so I was in Chromium 2 when I deleted it. Um, let's see, so 3.3 .3 mil, I got Ray, I got Padme. Uh, J JKA, Relic 5, so yeah, the, the, uh, like these two things are pretty much the only ones that I do not have on my uh, current account here. Everything else kind of looks similar. I was going after a... Uh, uh, Omicron Wampa as well. Uh, and it does have some stars of being Ren. Slightly better Ewoks too. Uh, C3PO was ready to be promoted, I think. Or maybe he wasn't. Uh, but my, uh, yeah, slightly better Ewoks. Slightly higher gear Django. Um, everything else though, I think, is not as good. Do have a seven star Treya too. Only five star uh, star Watt temp board though. Uh, six star BSF, which I do not have. I have a I have a two star level fifty Basilisk Sean Fallen on this account. I do have Revan, which I don't on this account. I was apparently working on this on the side, Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum. <laughs> Three star Mar Jade Omicron makes sense. Yeah, a lot of level ones. I wasn't trying to bloat on this account, so. Uh, but on my account here, literally all of my characters are level uh, fifty plus. So, and and they're all blue gears. Uh, if I can, like that piece of gear is missing, so. 
yeah, they're all level 50, every single one, pretty much. A lot, lots of blue gears, purple gears. Uh, just to get my GP close to 4 mil. And I think in two days we'll hit it if I unlock the executor, so... Well, I get why. It almost hurts to see it inactive. It does. Well, it did for me for a little bit. Uh, but then I know it's for the better. Uh, for me in the long run, so... You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. It's one of those weird feelings. It is, yeah. It's like you worked on it and like you gotta let it go now. It's like... But think of it this way. It's like you're, you're, you, you're, you're raising like a wild squirrel and now it's time to release it into the wild. That's where it belongs. <laughs> I only say that because of the time spent. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, except in this case, you know, like by releasing it, I, I, there's just too many pluses. Uh, like if you look at pro, uh, let's say pros and cons, I, I feel like the plus is just, uh, overwhelm the, the negative, the minuses to the point where if you really compare the two, it's, it's, to me, it's a no brainer in the end. Um, but I know what you mean, yeah. Oh, 16 minutes till my squad arena payout. All right. Uh, let's go after him. At least we can get rank 10. I'll take that. Uh, should be good. Level 5. Wait, so now I have like a couple data crowns. I wonder... I wonder which one is better. So this is what I'm currently using. Health, health steel armor. Uh, protection, crit damage, health steel. Yeah, this one's better for Ray. Actually, maybe I should have passed that to Finn. Could have been this way. Just do not stun Ray JTR. Okay, good. Now it's almost a guarantee. Oh no. That was a terrible mark. That was the worst mark he could have. Oh no. Didn't even go through damage immunity. Yeah, that was terrible. That this is actually a terrible start. We'll probably be okay though, but it'll be it'll be rough. Oh god, ultimate so early. Uh, I think I just hit ultimate too. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, also is because an account like that seems giant. I had a few friends quit the game with like 5 million GP who are still on my friends list. Yeah. It is almost 4 mil uh, GP as well. That's true. It wasn't easy. It wasn't like... It wasn't like I had the idea and just deleted it right away. I had to really think about it for a few days. Uh, let's do... I think I'm gonna actually pass the turn meter. Or pass this. Ability blocked, that's bad. This dispel, yes, okay. And he's in damage immune. Man, too much turn meter. I think I have to hit it now. I don't have to. Yeah, I will though. Unfortunately, I don't get to heal. I mean, I can heal him. Alright, fine. I would have liked to heal Ray though, but whatever. Should be okay. And wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, I mean, does he have like a bad data crown or something? There's no health percent at least. But otherwise it looks pretty solid. It has dodge and it has dodge as armor penetration, which is really good. Uh, just gonna do a basic here. Uh, 
Cages don't kill Ray. That's that's all that I ask. Uh, sure, you're gonna do that. Uh, basic. I want to ultimate and one shot both of them. <laughs> Actually, let's do this. That hurts. That hurts. Alright. That should do it. It's not an overnight decision? Yeah. I had no idea your main actually had Ray. Yeah, it did. Alright, here's a moment. Boom. <laughs> 300k on both. Wow. Because they gained so much turn meters and my Ray gained so much offense. And in the end, like, it's it's really easy to one-shot, like, two, three characters at the same time. I think one of my first holds on my Ray against the GL was actually a Luke, Master Luke, so... Alright. And it's time for GAC, guys. Okay. Alright, so real quick, last round, let's do a quick review. Um, as we expected, um, he out, well, he, I mean, he had more teams to beat, so he got more banners than me. Uh, but yeah, so we got stuck on, if you didn't know what happened, we got stuck on this uh, Padme, GK, and Cat. Um, I think if I played it a little bit differently, I could have had a slightly better chance at clearing the team. Um, I didn't think that battle mattered in the end, but I did some miscalculations. Because uh, yeah, the fleet is more when I clear it compared to a regular territory, but he's got that territory in the back wall for, of mine that he can full clear and get a lot of banners from that. So, uh, But here we are in round three. We're up against Omega. Um, uh, just counted 11 quitters on my friends list with over 1.5 million GP. Highest being 5.2. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely easier to quit when you're lower, lower GP. That's for sure. All right. This is, this is, I, I saw this guy's account and I did not even change my defense because I thought it was not worth it. This guy's got three GLs. I've never seen three, uh, three GL opponents. Um, and he's got has guys and Padme and CLS. I I didn't right off the bat. I I didn't think it was worth it to strategize my defense. I don't think. I think if he really tries to attack, he's going to win. Um, unless he takes all three GLs for offense, and then maybe. My Ray can hold all three of them. My Ray has held two GLs, by the way. That was crazy to see uh, in 3v3. Like, uh, this uh, first bat first round, actually. So, two rounds ago. It held against two GLs. And three, I feel like it might be also doable. Um, and if he brings all of his offensive power, like these good teams for offense, maybe I can actually hold them all. Maybe. That's a big maybe, by the way, because... I mean, to be fair, I mean, he does have three GLs. I mean, you know. Uh, but in terms of ships, I don't even want to see. I, I, I did not see what he's got for ships. Uh, but he's got the regular stuff on the top, right? He, it looks like he's got... Um, I mean, he does has uh, he does have his uh, GL requirements, like uh, the Radis and the Finalizer. That's a given. Um, Galactic Republic here as well, I see. Uh, three geos or two geos. There, there's the third geo. Okay. Uh, Executrix negotiator. Oh my! Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Okay. So he's got three Galactic Legends and the Executor. Uh. But besides that, he's got Malevolence, Negotiator, Finalizer, Executrix, Chimera, Radis. One okay, it's a decent, decently geared Akbar, I guess. It's it's something. Um, 
Yeah, this is honestly probably the biggest account I've encountered, although he's got no uh, data crowns. Which makes me wonder, maybe his mods aren't that good either. Let me check. Um, how about BB-8? Yeah, tenacity mod. Like, you're not supposed to use a tenacity set. Oh no, 290. That is really fast. Maybe he does know how to mod. What about Darth Revan? R2, Lord Vader, yeah. Okay, so he's not super slow. He does, okay, so this guy's got three GLs, Executor, and he knows how to mod. So, don't really know what he's doing in uh, Chromium 1, but I mean, okay, hello there. Like, we're, we're up against each other now, so. 600, hold on a second. This guy's been playing this game for a while now. He's got 691k Legacy sh uh, Championship points. I got zero, because my account is new, right? But... I don't even know what that means. How long has he been... Like, does that mean he's been playing for, like... Five, six years? I don't know. Uh, but here we are. Hopefully he won't attack me. That's that, That's my... I feel like that's my only out. Is that an okay? So oh, okay, okay. So I mean, that's a crew. That's not a. That's not an SLKR. I saw the red the red lightsaber. I was like, oh god. Okay, no GL. Okay, okay. Oh no, is that actually gonna happen? Is my Ray gonna hold all his three GLs? I would like to see that. <laughs> I'm actually down to see that. All right, so Bosk, Boba, Relic, A. Ooh, that's gonna—he's gonna hit hard. Uh, Dengar, Phasma, Foo, Fox, uh, Crew, Pilot, Kylo Ren. Is that the Omicron pilot? I don't really know. Don't know for yeah it is okay, but he doesn't have the army crown. I don't know if it's ordered too too well, but all I know is that's a scary army crown, and I don't I would not want to deal with it. He doesn't have it, which is great. Zam no army crown. Wow, what's he doing with all these non army crown teams? He's got Bam plus these two uh, bad batch. Hmm, how do I deal with this bad batch? I'm going to jump off now and get some food, but it was nice to see you. We'll chat with you again soon. Have a good day ha ha and stream you too, man. Have a good meal. I want to clear this territory first and see what he's got in the back. The top is not very... It's not too scary looking, so... I want to see if he's got a GL in the back. Okay, so the most threatening team here is uh, going to be this one. I don't know what I want to do with it. I've never seen, I've never really encountered that many Bad Batch teams, uh, especially in 3v3, so. Hmm. If it was 5v5, I could easily use my Empire to get max banners, but. Don't want to spend Darth Vader here, though. Yeah, I don't want to spend that here. Hmm. Okay, so let's do some process of elimination. Okay, so... Oh, jeez, holy. 281 speed? That is way faster than my Bosk. <laughs> Alright, we might have a problem. Uh, what do I want to do here? So we have to do something about this. Hmm. I could probably Finfin Po that. So I cannot use Finfin Po anymore. Okay. Uh, man, does JTR deal with this? I think they can. 
Yeah, let's say no more JTR either. Uh, maybe Wampa does. Can I Qui-Gon this? Do they have stuns? Is that gonna be a problem? I don't know how Bad Batch works. I know they do have stuns, but they don't- they, they have two less people, right? So... Two seventeen Hunter. Does Hunter need to be fast? Or is it like Echo or something? Right? I mean, they have Wrecker and Omega here. All Tenacity, interesting. 213, let me actually check some speed. Here, what does he have? 217 plus... Potency, so no speed, okay. His name is Omega. I wonder if he's actually- oh god, Omega is the fastest. Alright, so 227. Uh, can I do a super cheap counter? If I can, I would- I would love to do that. Um, let's see, so... Can we do this? I think I might be able to do this. Let me check. Uh, 227 is Omega. I'm gonna be slightly faster than Omega, so... Kinda wanna try this. Gear 7, or... Yeah, Gear 7, Gear 8, Gear 10. <laughs> if this doesn't go well, um, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Do they start with Foresight? I need to know that, actually. I don't know how Bad Batch works. Don't see anything about starting with, with Foresight. What about Wrecker? Does Wrecker provide max health, max protection? Um, I don't really, that's a lot of words. I don't see any foresight though. Omega is gonna gain speed, okay. I sh this should be okay in theory. Let's go. I'm gonna start with a difficult battle. Okay, man. Scary. Okay, so... Probably wanna do this, right? Push back. Omega. Uh, just fracture Wrecker. I don't want. I don't want anything funny. All right, so could have fractured Hunter. Actually, I think that might have been a little better. We should be good now. We should be safe. Just gotta go fast. Um, sure. Alright, stop here. Oh, okay. Somebody's ready to take a turn. Uh, keep him fractured. Actually, I could have fractured Omega. Could have. Um, could have done the AOE, should have. 
It doesn't really matter too much though. Uh, yeah, should have done that there. I'm uh, just gonna do this. Keep them fractured. Let's do this. Uh, I'm actually just gonna do it here. Cool. Alright, we still have 242. We got this. Alright. So that was pretty much determined by four less speed. Them having four less speed than me. Uh, but that was a cheap counter, so I'm pretty happy about that battle. Now this one, I... Uh, what does Bam lead even do? I have Bam, but I don't know what he does. <laughs> Alright, so that's the leader. Yep, uh, at the start of the battle, Scoundrel allies gain max health, protection, offense, takes damage, Scoundrel ally gain turn meter. Ooh. Um, immune to ability block, potency tenacity. Okay, so I need to get Bam out ASAP. This is not an easy team to deal with, I feel like. Or it's scarier than it looks, so... Can I do this? I might be able to afford to do this here. 218. Slow. 208. Yeah, it should be okay. I want to disintegrate. I don't know, Ambo? I mean, he does have like two Zetas. I don't know what they do, but... I, on the other hand, no, we have to get Bam out first, and then we'll care about the other two. Yeah, let's do that. My Bosk should go first, and then we'll try to like... We'll try to do something. Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good. Um, might have to disintegrate him. Let's go for it. I don't want him to kill my, my, my Mando, so. Um, and then let's work on IG and then we'll disintegrate Anbo or something. Let's try to do some cooldown here, though. Alright, might as well just full send here. And then disin disintegrate him instead. Uh... Should be okay then. Five turns. This might be nasty for a second. Okay, we got our taunt back. That's good. Uh, not gonna land the stun, but that's okay. Two turns. Let's do a. Sure. Lots of foresight. I'm kind of committed here though, so I have to do this. Here we go, Tom back up. Oh well, where's my... <laughs> I mean, we still have three minutes, I could, could do it, could just disintegrate here, get some banners back. I mean, he might take some banners off here. Whatever, we'll just get IG off, out for now. Uh, did not get my stun. Do I just full send? I think I just full send. That should do it, maybe? Okay, there we go. Full banner, 50, 57. I'll take it. 
Uh, Zen lead, I don't know what she does. Normally she's not leading. 5% protect potency and recover 1% health whenever an enemy is dealt damage by a thermal detonator. Okay. They got Greedo and this guy. Does he land? He doesn't land thermals, I don't think. Purple gear. She's Relic 7 though. Is that going to be a problem? 260. Potency set. Hmm. Two sixty. Two sixty. That's a little bit too fast. Like she's gonna do something. She won't solo my team though, right? I mean I can try to get I should just, I, I could try to get Greedo out or maybe even Cad Bane out first. Wow, even he is 192 purple gear. Um or Geo's gonna be okay. I don't want thermo thermal detonators to ruin me. I do have another bounty hunter team technically. I have a uh, I have Boba here, got him here, and I have Cad Bane. This would be a cheap counter though, if I could. I would like to use this if I could. This is, I'm not 100% sure on this. But I have a feeling I'm going to be okay. Maybe. <laughs> I actually don't know. I'm willing to, am I willing to try? Um, I can save these and maybe use like a Finn lead or something, or a, a Poe Dameron lead or something, or yeah, Poe Dameron lead. This might be okay though. I mean, man, Greedo, he can in, he can in theory like one shot everyone, right? Attack again whenever he scores a critical hit, so he can hit an infinite amount of times. In theory, um, I could try to get him out first and then Cad Bane and then work on Zen, I suppose. Let's go for it. And I need my Vader to solo some team, I'm not sure who. So Zam's gonna go first, that's a given. Do this to Greedo, get him out if I can. Ooh, nice, okay, alright, we're, we're, we won, maybe. Hopefully, I can recover some banners. Because when these thermos explode, it's not going to... I'm going to... Like, they're going to feel it. Two stacks, yeah. I'm going to take one more turn to heal. Just going to take it easy. Hopefully she doesn't die too quick. Just going to do a ba Actually, yeah, basic. Thermos exploding. Can you heal back up or something? Oh, God. I think I have to heal now. Uh, it looks to be pretty much full banners, so I'm just gonna try to kill her now. If I could, almost. Holy crap. Alright, well. Uh, we lost one banner. It's okay though, I'll take that. So that was like three almost pretty cheap counters that bosk team is like all right i mean it's a decent sized counter but lots of resistance back here interesting uh see all less all right so which means i might have to spend jtr here if i want to clear it which means i can't use jtr on the top which means i'll have to figure out something else hmm might have to spend Fin Fin Poe here. 
But I need Finfin Paul on the top, right? I want to make sure I get to the fleet, though. Yeah, let's try to clear these teams on the top. Alright, so for this, what was I going to do? I was going to... I... Oh my god, I can't use... Alright, hold on a second, let me check speed. Because I can't... This is going to be a little tricky. So 281. Uh, 281. 256 plus 16. 72. A little bit too fast for my Vader solo. Uh, hold on. 56 plus 16. 72. 272 plus another 8 is 280. He's 282, right? Or 281. Oh god. Just a little bit too fast. I could do this, but it feels like a, such a waste. Ideally, I want it to be Vader solo. But if I don't JTR here, I'll have to do something weird like this. Yeah, I don't really trust anything else. Because I have to save JTR for CLS, so I kind of have to do this. Although... Huh. Lysite enemies have minus 15. Alright, well, this is not gonna... They're not Lysite, so... I have to bring both of them to outspeed Bosk. Although Bosk might not be a problem. 262. If he he's gonna taunt at the beginning, right? So I can't really guarantee that though. Does he mass assist at the beginning? I think he always taunts, right? Does anyone know? If he only taunts, then I can potentially just solo, because uh 252 plus 16 is 72 272. My Vader solo is going to be 272 speed. That's going to outspeed Boba Fett. And potentially Dengar 2. Yes, Dengar 2. Alright, so... As long as he doesn't mass assist at the beginning, I'll be okay. But I don't... I'm not sure about his opening play. Seems kind of scary though if I just do this, and if he mass assists, I'm I'm stunned and I I die pretty much. So this is a guarantee, but this gets me two more banners. Can I? So the question I guess is, am I willing to sacrifice two banners for a potential loss? I could just go for the guarantee. But then I could also use these two for other for maybe a cleanup or something, right? So I kinda don't want to spend them. Man, this is not. <laughs> oh god. Could just go for it. Yeah, I mean, I'm slowly running out of time, so I have to make a choice. I gotta go here in 40 minutes. We should get everything done within 40 minutes, but I, I need to, like, really think about this, though, I think. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go for it. He's gonna taunt. I'm calling it right now, he's gonna taunt. Yes. <laughs> we won. Alright. Uh so what's the sequence? Let's how about let's start with this. Ability block. Do this. Do that. Uh ability block here. Do this here. Do that here. Wait, what what happened? Oh, tenacity. Holy crap. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Dengar. Holy crap. Well, there goes our, our GL Vader. <laughs> that was very short-lived. Oh man, Dengar. I even have him too. I just don't know his kit. Man, hopefully that didn't cost me. Uh, but I need to save JTR. I have to save JTR. Alright, so if I save JTR... They're preloaded, so I think maybe let's Qui-Gon clean up. Yeah, I'm willing to spend Qui-Gon here. Let's do it. Wow, that Dengar. Should have thought about that. Should be okay to mass assist here. You cannot kill GK. Alright, so... Hmm, do I just go for Bosk? I think I kind of have to, right? I can try to get Boba out once. He's got two lives. Yeah, let's let's try to do that. He's gonna taunt, but he's gonna lose it. Pay out. I just need to get him out once. One time, come on. Just one time. I need one time. Get him one time. Okay, there we go. He got him one time. Alright, so now I'll take off Bosk's protection if I can. And then hopefully he doesn't kill uh, Qui-Gon Jinn. Because that would be game over. Okay, good. Oh man, maybe I should just take out Boba twice. I'm gonna save this now, but I'm gonna do this. I see your message, uh, Darth Coffee, but hold on a second. This is a critical point. Alright, let's just do a basic. Oh, nice. Okay, we got it. Um. Should just. This guy's got AoE. I'm still gonna hold on. There's still a chance they might go after Qui-Gon. Here we go. Hey man, so here Larry King had some unexpected guests come by. I appreciate the ally code. No problem, man. I'm sure everyone else is here is lurking too. Okay, good. So that was actually that was that got scary for a second. Um, so that's clear. Um, now I have to save Wampa, I think. So I, I can Finfin Po here. I'm gonna use Finfin Po here. I don't I don't really care too much. Let's use Finfin Po. Fin. Fin Po. Uh, no data crowns should be okay. Hopefully the rest will take care of his rest. 
I usually watch the GAC on your YouTube channel. I see, because I usually can't make it when you're live. I see. Yeah, no worries. I mean, this will go up on YouTube as well. So if you miss any portions you want to catch up, that's, you know, it's going to be on YouTube. So, uh, but here, I think we just do it. I appreciate it, though. Should go first and swap here. Just going to do a stun. Oh, he actually dropped it somehow. Then I'll do this then, I think. Doesn't normally happen. Let's do this. And he should be out. Don't like the tenacity downs, but it's alright. There goes the inspo. Get inspo back. Good stun. Let's just do another basic. Just try to get him out, I think. It's probably the, the right move here. Do that. He should be out. And it's game. It's just now, can I recover some banners? There's banner recovery, just a little bit, not enough though. I need Finn to like, take one more turn or something. I'm gonna do this actually. Yep, got the banners back, which is good. I've been wanting to do a rush for Ray, but I decided to go for SLKR on my other account instead. Uh, just farming the ships now. Yeah, ships are like the toughest part, I feel like. Uh, especially to Ray or SLKR rush, because... Wait, hold on a second. Am I stuck behind this guy? Oh, crap. <laughs> Don't tell me. Whoa. Whoa. Actually, if I don't do debuffs, I think... I think I just basic. Basic? No. I might be stuck here. Man. So that hurts, okay. Um, I think if I do debuff, he heals. Might be stuck. Wow. Hold on. Let me try something. Wow. Uh, at this point, I don't care if he hits me. <laughs> Okay, 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 hold on. We may have some hope. Oh no, that's not good. That is not good. Do this. Man, I got him down to yellow. Uh, do this. Ooh. Holy crap. I don't even care about banners now, I just want him dead. Let's do basic. Ah, uh, that's not good. That's really bad. Oh no. Uh, do this. I'm running out of time.
Wow. I figured it out. <laughs> Oof. Holy crap. Man. The resistance fleet just doesn't seem as good as the other ones. Oh yeah, 100%. They gave us a trash uh, tank. That was dicey. That was really dicey. <laughs> oh god. I thought I was stuck for a second. But the, the thing about uh, Finn's uh, uh, third ability is that it ramps up damage. So I had to let him ramp so many times. But he could he, he was being constantly stunned by uh crew, so that was that was a scary part. Alright. I just need to figure out this Phasma team now. Uh, I need to save JTR for the bottom, so. Hmm. Phasma lead is not that scary when when it's uh it's only officer and this guy, right? Two, three, five, no armies, no nothing. Two, fifteen. Two, six, eight. Okay, so this guy's somewhat fast. There's no ton or anything, so. Could probably do this, I have a feeling. It's a B team versus a B team, right? I mean not necessarily like that's how they're graded, but they're on a similar they're on a similar power level, I feel like. And I think my ray can potentially snipe out somebody, hopefully. I don't really have a lot of options. I wanna save some of these teams for the back wall, so I think let's go for it. Okay, not cool. Uh, let's oof. This is a little scary. Alright, we should be good. My resistance trooper though, holy crap. <laughs> They're passing each other Terminator Terminator, it's so funny to see. It's like you go, but she's like, no, you go. <laughs> Fine, I'll go. Alright. That was scary though, I mean Lost 50% health on both of them. What do they have? The exact- oh no. Oh no. They got the executor in the back. We'll come to ships later. Alright, so JTR is gonna have to do- deal with this here. Let's go. Alright, so I've kind of learned a little bit from the last JTR versus CLS. Granted, he's only got a gear 12 Han Solo, so it's not as terrible, but... God. Uh, what do I want to do here? Kind of want to dispel R2. I want, yeah, let's do that. Uh, do this here. How about this? That was a slightly unfortunate stun at the beginning. Although, is there a good target for them to stun? I don't know. Uh, do this again. Why not? One counter 
let's do this. Hand wave here. Do the burn. Get him out. Alright, we're good. We are good. Alright, now let's... I could do this. This will actually recover some banners on BBA, but it might just be too late. It's probably just too late. Uh, he just recovered a little bit, but that's not that's not really enough. Three turns, oh god. Too late. Oh well, I'll take I'll take fifty-five. All right, so shock T is gonna be a problem. I have no idea when. Oh wait, hold on a second. Oh wait, there's no Rex. I thought Rex was here for some reason. Okay. All right. I mean, if I can solo Wampa solo this, then I'll have a better shot at clearing the rest. Completely forgot I still had one, but okay, there we go. 58. Okay, so now it's just a fin lead and a pole lead. Interesting. Uh, he probably should have swapped the pilot and the Han Solo, veteran smuggler Han Solo. I, I would have done that 100%, but. Hmm. Um, they're also on a similar power level, and I ended up with more character than I expected. So, I mean, which is good. How do I want to deal with this, though? Bring Zam? Don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> I could Grievous, this guy, and another droid. That's gonna be really bad banners, though, if I do that. Um, lots of potency. Okay, I don't like that. 123%. Two thirty speed. Two thirty is not that bad. Um, kind of want to guarantee. Hold on a second. Let me check the other. Let me check Poe. Oh wow! Level one lead. Two five three. What about tenacity? Fifty one percent. Potency check. Fifty one percent. Two eleven speed. Emblem holdo. Hmm. Okay, so there's no assists going on. Okay, so I will resist the. The stun from Veteran Smuggler Han. I think. Let me check something though. Wonder if I can just nest solo. 
kind of want to go for it and just put it on auto. Yep, so no stun there as you see. Cleanse that, that's fine. I'm, I don't care too much about that. Good, let's go back to Poe. Or just go to Han. Actually, let's go to Han. Nice counter, one more hit, almost there. Okay, so this is actually working. <laughs> that was a mistake. Like, we'll be okay, but that was funny. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Recovery. Can I recover? Can, you, can we get some health? We need more health. Okay, there we go. Got some health back. Yeah, full health. Alright. Hmm. More tools than I expected that I would have left. How about a full bounty hunter team? Fully relict. Not gonna bring. Not gonna bring Zan. Zan might just loot, die, and that would be a banner loss. This will be a banner loss too, but. Crit damage, crit chance, uh, speed, and gain health. Health steal. Oh wait. Well, I'm. I don't think I'll lose health though. I, at least I'll lose some protection. But crit chance, inflict damage over time, scores a critical hit. Um, okay, so none of these have recovery built in, so what about Zam? Does Zam Omicron give health built in? Health recovery? No. Um, uh, well. Yeah, let's bring a fully relic team. I guess. There's not much else to bring. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, ooh, nice. Ability block. There we go. More ability blocks. Can I disintegrate someone? I want to disintegrate him. Oh god, I know. Uh, stun. No stun. Actually, should have gone for Fen, maybe. 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 Fen, would, Fen is the one that gives me the contract. There's a stun. Almost. Uh, call Boba, this is nice. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so we lost some protection. Uh, Boba actually got down into health only. But only if I had a way to recover protection. Uh, but it's a 54 banner win, I'll take it. So he actually brought all of his stuff on offense. Except to the executor. Is that because he's not confident in... Actually, no, I think it's just a smart idea to put executor on defense. All right, well, executor counter time. <laughs> How do I do this again? Um, this plus this. Oh, crap. It's on defense. Oh, crap. It's on defense. It's on defense. High fighter pilot is on defense. Oh, no. I, when I saw this roster 3 GLs executor, I did not even bother to change what I bring for offense, but I should have, I guess. 
All right, I guess we'll use this. Okay, improvise. Hopefully it'll work. I have no idea. Um, well, hold on, sound fact, Vulture Droid, so I need Spy. Bring Soldier, Ebon Hawk, I need Ebon Hawk, and the last unit would have been TIE Fighter Pilot, or the first unit would have been TIE Fighter Pilot, but... Hmm. Might not actually clear this. One seventy three. Oh, one seventy seven. Interesting. Oh, one seventy three. Actually, hmm. Uh, Plo. Let's try. Not 100% confident. Normally I use a uh, TIE Fighter Pilot, but this is such a weird scenario though. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Do I just go for IG? I'm gonna try to go after IG first. Let's do this. Can I get him? Wow, no assist from this guy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, I guess spy. Like how to? Oh no! I was hoping it would get on IG. Then I would be able to one shot him. Now you have Xanadu, hmm. Ooh, okay. That was, uh, I, I was hoping he would be dead by now. Okay, let's have to do that. I wish she wasn't stunned. Oh, well, it would not have mattered. Okay, that's fine. Cool, let's do this. Oh, okay. Buffin- oh, no. He called- he called Hound's Tooth to assist. Alright, that's not- that's really bad, actually. Uh, let me just do this. He's probably got Boba somewhere, right? Uh, breach, breach. All right, cool. Basic then. And there's Boba. Could have full sent actually. It would not have done anything though. I have that on. Okay, he can counter me once. I don't care too much. Reached. Can we do a dispel? This is actually really bad. Oh no, do not hit him. Do oh no 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 no. Get off. Alright. Um If I ultimate though, I feel like I might just lose. <laughs> but at the same time I feel like I have the ultimate. Or do I have to ultimate? I can reinforce soldier, right? And ultimate next turn? Alright, let's do that. I'm gonna take a chance here. Get Xandu out. Or Cat Bane. Yeah, Xandu. Same thing. Uh, let's do... Oh god. So close. Can I take a turn? Capital ship. 
Capital shit. There we go. Ah, man, this might actually work. Holy crap. Um, let's do this, though. Oh, come on. No assists? What's 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 up? Oh my... No assist again? How can I not assist twice, two times in a row? Alright, um... Hmm. I have to play safe. Reinforce this. One minute left. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, the dodge. The dodges, the... The dodges, man. Let's do this. Uh, crap. How about let's do this, finish it off, maybe, hopefully. Wow. Okay, that's not terrible. It's not terrible. Oh my god, actually got it. Holy crap. That was my first executor I've ever run into in, in, in uh, GEC. And I did not have my uh, TIE Fighter pilot. Because I did not care what to... <laughs> I, was, I wasn't even, even expecting to... I had no idea what he was going to put on defense. I mean, 3 GLs plus Executor, how do I even deal with that? So I just didn't care. Here we are, about to full clear in though. I think I have to start Houndstooth. Uh, start her and bring Poe. Reinforce that, reinforce this. I guess Vader. I don't really know. I guess Vader. Yeah, let's give it a shot. I have no idea. It's probably not going to work. Holdo's fleet is so bad, uh, and uh, Malevolence is actually really good, so... Okay, at least I'm going first. Let's do the spin. Missed. That's really nice. That's not good. At least I have taunts. You can ignore taunts. Hmm. Sure. Okay, he did not aim at my ray here, so it's a. Uh, Helps a little bit. That's the first Vulture Droid. God, I really don't think I should AOE. Let's just do a basic. Reinforce here. I'm just gonna go for this. What is that? <laughs> What is that thing? Okay, cool. We still have Taunt, which is really nice. Oh no, oh no, not Ray. Come on now. Uh, man, she's dying. I still think I basic. Oh, come on, can I select? All right, there we go. I'm running out of time here. I just wanna, I just, I just gotta do things. Oh, that's really terrible. Let's do this. Houndstooth is about to die, yeah. That was super unfortunate. He's gonna kill Ray. Alright. Whoa! Holy crap! Did you guys see that? <laughs> oh my god, wow. Holy crap. Wow. I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh man. What a full clear. 
Holy crap. This is honestly probably the best GAC so far ever. Wow. Three Galactic Legends. Granted, none of it is on defense. <laughs> Executor. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But to be fair, though, he still has a chance to win. So, uh, but regardless, that full clear was really fun and really unexpected. Um, yeah, it's actually like even though yeah, like we got a really tough full clear, but he can still easily clear me. That was a pretty good GAC. I would I would say so. I might I might just uh, might put it on a highlight. At least the last clip. That, I thought that was really funny. Ray one shot at everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I feel like the only hope now is that Ray holds against all his all three of his Galactic Legends, plus Gas, plus Padme, plus whatever else he's got. So, a lot of pressure on my Ray now. Uh, I do have a Data Crown, so... Rose Tico Omicron as well. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. He has a Ray too. So, I mean... Can he one-shot my Ray? I don't even know. No, I actually don't think his Ray can one-shot my Ray. But I, my Ray can guarantee one-shot his Ray, so... At least that's what I'm hoping. He has no data crowns, so that helps a little bit. Uh, hold on, let's actually take a look. What does he have? SLKR, I see. SLKR, uh, oh, Relic 7 Ray. Okay, so it's higher than I thought. Okay, so it's a Relic 2 Vader. Okay. I should be able to deal with that Vader. Um, man. He might actually have a pretty good chance at beating my Ray. I don't know. Either way, though, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. It's gonna be... It's. I really want to see what he does, or if he does anything. Hopefully he does something. Because I actually want to see what he's able to do with, with the three GLs. What's his name? Omega. So, he won one round. He either did not attack or lost the other one. Um, I actually want him to attack me, weirdly enough. Even though I know if he does, I, I might just lose, but I actually want him to attack me. Anyways, that's it for today. Um, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'll see you guys in three days, I guess. In two days, though, I'm going to unlock the executor, so keep that... In mind, if you guys want to stop by, uh, it'll be on the November or October, November, November, December. Yeah, November 15th will be the executor unlock. Um, I think I'll stream it. Uh, but yeah, keep you guys updated next time. Or actually, no, I'm going to leave the description. If he actually attacks me, if he attacks me, I'll leave uh, uh, what he did in the description below. Also, I'll review it in the next GAC in three days uh for the, in the next round one I'll I'll do a I'll do a swoggle.gg review uh because you guys are not going to be able to see the review here but I can show you what he did on swoggle.gg so have a great week you too man and I think uh, thanks for stopping by too but I think that's it for today um as well we're just going to end here. I got a basketball game to catch in 14 minutes. So perfect timing. Rank 10, I'll take that. Ooh, that was fast. Okay. Uh, One second though. Actually, let me buy this. That was super funny. I, I still can't believe what, what just happened. Ray just one-shot at all the Vulture droids. It's so funny to see. 
Like, I knew that could happen. It's just really funny to see. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get Stark here. Uh, might as well get Prestige. Need a little bit of Prestige. Not gonna touch anything here. Get Phantom, 100%. Almost Summer Star Phantom, too, here. No battle computers. Or no, that's battle computer. No, uh, the other one. This one right here. Shock prop. Don't need anything here. I could buy this. It, it seems kind of low. I don't know who needs this, but I'll, I'll get it anyways. All right. Um. Okay. You know what? Let's spend some energy. <laughs> don't need Nihilus. Uh, so I've been farming Dark Side, pretty much Dark Side only, just for the Omega shards, and she's actually now five stars. Like it actually helps. So here we go, two more shards. I'll take that. I'll leave the twenty-seven for now. Uh, spend what's about to be full uh, ships. Let's do. Already got her. Got him. Don't need Omega. Not really. Uh, this is farmable. Already got that. I just don't know what to farm right now with Fleet Energy. I would farm Gears if I know what Gears I'm, I'm missing I need. So, but I'll just get this. Why not? Two blue grins. I'll take it. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next GAC, which is going to be in two- Actually, no, I'll see you in two days for the Executor Unlock, so... That should be fun. Hopefully I'll unlock it, get the 4 mil GP. At that point, we'll be able to access Hard Conquest and the Proving Grounds. Uh, so that's, that's actually pretty exciting, holy crap, I can't believe it's like, so fast. I knew I was going to hit 4 mil before the end of this year, but... We're still like 20 days before the end of this year, so. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, see you guys later. Peace.